ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ प्रथम पग फाउंडेशन कोर्स ऑफ दोन डिफेंस अकेडमी एंड ऑल्सो वेलकम अवर कैडेट गौतम कुमार इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी एंड अ बिग राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज आई एल एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम ऑल स्टूडेंट्स फॉर गौतम कुमार Your batchmate Gautam Kumar, like you, joined Doon Defence Academy Foundation course called Pratham Pub in June 2022, and in less than one and a half year of time being spent here, he qualified in the NDA written examination, National Defence Academy written examination, with few of his friends from the same batch of foundation course, and within three months of that, he also qualified. the services selection board interview for indian air force for the national defense academy it's a proud moment for him for his parents for his batchmates as well as for the pratham pak foundation course of doon defense academy and for all the faculty as well now all the audience and the students sitting here are quite keen and there have been messages coming that they would like to listen in into the experiences and insight of cadet gautam kumar as to how he had covered his journey and what was the strategies that he implemented to reach this goal which he has achieved it's a proud moment without dwelling more time on any other issues we come down straight to the conversation which i am sure will be insightful and will help you gain certain tips from him to plan out your own journey towards national defense academy for which you are being trained and for which you have aimed for so we come down to gautam kumar gautam welcome to the show thank you sir and to start the ball rolling first thing we would ask you as to why did you take that decision after your 10th class to join the foundation course at doon defense academy sir after passing my class 10th i was searching for my further studies and due to lack of proper uh, education for class 11 and 12th in my own town i had to go out and i was uh, from my uh, class 9 only i was interested in national defense academy so i searched uh, my parents and i searched for, for some places and dehradun was one of the top most places which were in uh, which was in our list so i came here with my uncle and uh, went to some academies find out uh, the uh, pros and cons of all the academies and uh, in the search only we came here and we talked to the students talked about the uh, uh, faculties and all the facilities that are available here and my uh, parents especially my uncle was convinced that this was the best place for me so finally i was uh, admitted here and uh, and and the journey started from there only sir okay having joined the doon defense academy in june 22 what all activities did you participate and how did they mold you towards achieving your goal sir uh, there were many activities which i have participated after joining here sir previously i was mostly in studies but after coming here sir i was more uh, more open to uh, other activities other extra curricular activities for example i part participated in a debate ex uh, essay writing uh, also i had participated in quiz competition and apart from that sir i was also uh, quite i also became quite active in sports i played volleyball here and uh, these all things sir made an impact impact on me previously i was an introvert but after coming here some qualities of extrovert has also come inside me that's why now i can uh, call myself ambivert not too much ex extrovert but i yes i have uh, capabilities i i am able to express myself uh, in in front of my friends and everybody which was uh, which i was not able before so i think this was the pro positive change that came inside me okay and uh, how did you plan out or what was your strategy to crack the nda written examinations so uh, my strategy in uh, in the starting uh, i was uh, completely blank to what to do so uh, i talked to my teachers i talked to my friends i saw some of my friends how they were preparing some of them were good in for example we know that there are two subjects two main papers in nda one is maths and one is gat so uh, my at that time in uh, when i was in mid, mid of my class 12th my maths was not so much good and uh, i knew that uh, even if i worked so much hard i would not be able to score that that much so that brings me to another question yes sir as to how did the faculty and mentors at doon defense academy molded you or supported you in your pursuit to achieve your goal of national defense academy sir definitely sir all the faculties have uh, made an made a huge impact in my journey 
because uh, sir without without teachers you cannot expect to learn anything so uh, uh, as i told you i was not that much good in maths so uh, my teachers we have many teachers here for example manish mathani sir raju pande sir and also uh, pradeep sir they all helped me uh, they all taught, uh, cleared my doubts took extra classes of us and in that way i i also took help of, uh, help of my friends sir so in that way uh, my maths part was covered and uh, talking about my gat it was good from starting only so i had not to work much on that but yes uh, the teachers here for example we have here many faculties of uh, uh, gat part we have mehra sir for uh, the gk portion and we have uh, devesh sir he is a teacher of science he taught us uh, physics here so these are all things these all uh, the, the all the teachers here helped me a lot in uh, and finding my finding my pros and cons and i was uh, finally was able to achieve uh, fortunately that written examination i was able to crack it services selection board interview is supposed to be one of the toughest hurdles of achieving your dreams to become an officer in the army yes how did you prepare for it and how did the support came from doon defense academy sir for ssb uh, i took guidance from the teachers here from the mentors here all the mentors here are very were very good in their task and they all uh, when i went there in the starting i was doing some mistakes i was committing some mistakes but uh, as my days passed uh, we i was able to uh, find my mistakes where 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 i was doing. for example i was saying that i was lacking in some of the topics in gd and lecture 8 so my mentor suggested me that you should read some topics and i started doing it and that really helped in my ssb for example uh, when i got my uh, topics in gd and lecture 8 and i was uh, i was completely aware of or, or aware of them and uh, within 3 minutes of preparation that we get there i was able to speak fluently there so i think uh, this this would not be possible because uh, when you uh, start doing something and when you are new new for, new for it you need some guidance whether it is in the form of your friends or other teachers and here the mentors i think helped me a lot because uh, i i can mention the pgt part where we have to apply our mind so in the starting uh, when you go to uh, go to the uh, obstacles first at first it becomes really confusing to what to do with. but uh, when uh, i practice here i knew some skills i knew some uh, strategies which i can apply and that really helped in my uh, uh, real pgt in ssb so i think mentors were the, were the main who supported me in the okay. ssb so that brings me to the next question having prepared for ssb and written both what were your thoughts while you were traveling to appear in the ssb yes. and what were your thoughts when your results were declared sir when i was uh, traveling uh, I was traveling with one of my friends, and we were really enjoying the way. Uh, uh, we were uh, going there by train, so uh, it was not that uh, that that we were over excited because sometimes being over excited can harm you. So we were just really really calm in the whole journey. Uh, we talked to our co-passengers. We made new friends there also. After reaching there, sir, uh, we stayed there. We took proper rest bef- before going to the uh, before the reporting date, and talking about my sir, the result declaration. Uh, the whole five day uh, procedure was really nice and we all enjoyed it uh, uh, all the people i think were not taking it as, as a testing but as a exp- as an experience and that is very important when you go there if you go there and if you uh, all that all the time you are tensed you cannot i think uh, you cannot have, have all the you cannot use the your full potential to uh, just showcase there because you have to show your best <coughs> to, there to the assessors so that they they can judge whether, whether you are fit for the uh, defense forces or not so uh, when i went there i really enjoyed the five day uh, procedure and after uh, at the time of result declaration uh, though i was calm but i was also excited what to as to what it was to happen and uh, i would say i would like to say that my chest number was 2 okay uh, so i knew that if uh, my result was to be declared and if i was to be selected it, it would be it would be my uh, probably my first name would be called and if not they would just skip me so uh, they had told me i would like to mention here an, an interesting event there they told me that uh, who whoever whoever chest number is called the stand up and uh, tell me your uh, tell the birth date of birth and chest number so they called the the first name was chest number 2 mine only so i stand i stood up and i just completely forgot what to tell because at that moment you don't know uh, whether you have to smile or uh, what i do, uh, it was really mixed feelings i, I can say sir okay, so okay. Uh, at the uh, at the time of result it was not that much that i was uh, happy so much because there were mixed me feelings and slowly as the time passed 
uh, I got to realize that yes, I was recommended, and I finally uh, I I got to be happy there. Okay, overall, how did you sum up your five days experience here in one minute for the benefit of all other students of your batch who are present here? So the five day experience, I think uh, uh, I noticed some things there. For example, what they want from the can candidates. I noticed, for example, I uh, seven candidates were recommended there with with me, uh, including me. And I noticed one thing uh, among all of them that no one was in in a tense mood. So when you go there, if you are in tense mood, it is uh, natural that you will not be able to showcase yourself as the as your best. So the first thing is that you should be lively. That is one of the OLQs there. So I think one of the most important. Uh, OLQs is that because when you are lively, when you are happy, you are able to use your full brain, full full body potential. And that, uh, for example, in PGT, you need to apply your own ideas. And when you are in uh, gloomy mood, with a gloom, gloomy face, you are not able to uh, apply the mind there. So I think the one of the uh, my from my experience, I can say that liveliness is one of the ma major factors. You need to be happy every time. You need to be mixing with your friends. Uh, just for example, I went there we all uh, with my group and we all made new friends. And till now, I, we are in uh, co contact. We shared our contact numbers. So uh, apart from that, I think the SSB is just about confidence. One, other, uh, one another factor I, I see that uh, if you are confident in showcasing yourself, it will be really fine for you, it will be really easy for you. You need to be confident in everything you say, for example, in the interview. Uh, no matter, sometimes uh, it is not that you have to al always uh, say the truth, but you have to work in a smart way. You have to, uh, you should know that what what are the things, there, there, will, there will be some things which are true about you, but not uh, representable. So you should uh, present them in a smart way, so that they may, they may not uh, harm you, uh, instead they can be used for your benefit. So I think you need to be smart there, second thing, and confident, confidence is, is a must thing, sir. So, so, when we are coming to almost an end to this conversation, yes. how are your 12th preparation going on? Sir? Yes, sir. Uh, I am sir, doing my uh, class 12 preparation and uh, I am studying from my teachers, asking, asking my doubts, clarifying my doubts at the, at the last moment. And I think most of the preparation has been done, done till now. Just, I just need to revise some chapters and uh, soon I will, I will be able to uh, just cover, cover the whole syllabus. Okay, well, nice interacting with you, Cadet Gautam. Yes. Now, uh, if you have a message for your batchmates who are expecting from you some pearls of wisdom so that they can follow suit and achieve their dreams of National Defence Academy. So, uh, in India examination, there are only two, uh, two hurdles. One is the written examination and second is the SSB. In written exam examination, you need to know your strengths and weaknesses. weaknesses. Uh, you need to know what, what are your the strong points. You need to make them more stronger. And for the weak points, you need to make them at least uh, at, at that level so, so that uh, you may qualify it. For example, in my case, maths was the hurdle uh, because at that, at, at that time I was not so much prepared. So I focused on my GAT and uh, covered my maths to such level so that uh, I can clear the paper at least. And talking about, my, uh, uh, talking about SSB, sir, SSB is all about confidence and uh, how you portray yourself there. You need to be uh, calm and composed there because uh, uh, at the time of being, uh, if you be, become there uh, over excited, it will just harm you only. So I think uh, about SSB, it is just about confidence and how you portray, portray yourself there. So that was my points. Okay, gentlemen, I am sure you must have taken your lessons from this conversation, what we had from Cadet Gotham. And it's time to leave since every one of you have go to classes for your board examinations. So we leave at a very positive note and with a positive message from one of your colleagues, Gautam here. And we wish him all the best in his future endeavors. And he should become a national asset after joining the National Defense Academy. Thank you very much. A big round of applause to Gautam. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Gautam. Thank you. Kindly subscribe. D-Day YouTube channel and don't forget to press bell icon.